My game turned out pretty nice, but I'm glad to be done with it. Wait, what? New update? Didn't I say I'm done with the game? And at least for now, I'm completely done with this game. Damn, I guess nobody... So, I thought I was done with it. I thought the game was complete. But then, the suggestions just kept pouring in. The questions of when you update just kept coming. And due to all of my other projects failing miserably, I kind of had no choice. It was time to go back to zombies. I had no idea what to add, so I just kind of made a skill system. Why did I make a skill system? I, I don't know. I, ju I just kind of felt like it. This system allows you to spend some points to increase your stats. For example, you like using shotguns, but they feel a bit weak in the later rounds. Well, no problem. Just spec fully into shotgun skills. You want to play with explosive weapons, but it's too dangerous. Just add 5 points into Demolition Man, and now you're significantly safer. Was the skill system a good idea for this game? Probably not, but it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, it's there. You thought the washing machine that emits ionizing radiation to enhance your weapons was kinda weird? Well, now it's going to be accompanied with a macrowave. To make this thing, I just created a cube stretched it a bit and added some buttons. This dingy little machine gives temporary buffs to your weapon, also giving it a small chance to cause a zap when shooting a zombie. To mix up the weapon roster, I decided it was time for a big gun, a bazooka. Modeling this thing was very simple. After all, it's just a cylinder. I made the reload animation, put the gun in the game, and I needed some reload sounds. And uh, I couldn't find any for a bazooka. So after tearing my hair out for some time, I figured out I could make the reload sounds from scraping metal samples. And that's exactly what I did. Oh, and you can rocket jump, cause of course you can. For the last weapon I would add, I wanted something far more original, so I dug up an old model of a 14 barrel shotgun. This beast looks pretty good from the front, but from the back, well, it's just a block. I tried remaking it, but it still looks like a brick. I knew I wanted to make a shotgun based weapon, so I decided to make a shotgun minigun and make it double barrel, cause why not? But First of all, how does a minigun even work? Well, let's take a look. Okay, this looks simple enough, I guess. Oh, wait, how do I make a minigun with two separate spinning barrels? Um, yeah, this was kind of tricky, but I figured it out. Here's the motor that spins the barrels, and then the barrel mechanism is inside of this thing, and underneath we have the ammo feed to the barrels with detachable drum mags. In the back, there's a battery that connects the motor and the button. Did I take this too far? Yeah, probably. Anyway, it was time for a reload animation. And oh boy, do I like making 320 frame animations. Ah! Alas, I did it. I made it. Maxwell. Right, with the weapons done, macro waves created, and a skill system added, I still felt like the update was too small. So, I kind of started making a map. I had an idea to make a medieval carnival town with all sorts of small easter eggs and cool stuff like that. But the rocket jumping ruined it. You see, some parts of the map benefited greatly from rocket jumping while some other parts were just completely broken because of it. So, I scrapped the entire thing. Yup, I just threw out the entire map. Then I thought of something. What if I took a Call of Duty map and added zombies to it? The tiny map of shipment quickly came to mind and I started working. I made a quick little block out and decided to expand the map beyond the containers. So, I added a little offshoot and put a building there. The map came together very quickly. Then I added some grass. Well, 
I thought it was grass, but it looks more like a flower than a patch of grass. So I made some new grass, planted a bunch of it all around the map. Then I modeled the containers, the building and the walls. Finally, I made everything look mossy and now I had the main area complete. For the zombie spawns, I could have just made a bunch of holes in the walls, but I decided to add ground spawns. For this, I needed to create a dig out animation for the zombies. It was quite tricky, but eventually I just used World of Warcraft's ghoul as a reference. And I think it turned out pretty decent. Just add some particles and a sound effect and ground spawns are fully implemented. Finally, to finish the entire map, I just needed to fill in the background with trees, rocks, distant buildings and some hills. There's one small problem. You see, these walls are kind of small and you can just leave the map. Now, I could fix this by adding invisible walls, but that's no fun. So if you ever decide to leave the map, you can't. I put kill boxes. Oh, you were wondering when did I make these zombies? Well, they are from an easter egg I mentioned in the previous video. And there you have it. Dead From Beyond is now finished for good. This little project was never supposed to snowball into this, but here we are. Now it's time for me to make something else. And if you want to see more of my projects, consider subscribing and joining my discord server. Anyway, bye.